Hey Taurus, this is uh, Soul here. And uh, Taurus, this is your uh, reading, your messages uh, beginning July 16th and ending uh, July 31st, 2018. Yes, I am uh, doing an extension of a reading uh, to cover you know my time off uh, for the month of July. Um, the reading of messages will be for Taurus Moon and Taurus um rising as well so let's begin taurus i hope all is well hope that you are uh, for the most part enjoying uh your summer uh and also too uh, there are no reversals here i chose not to use any reversals for all the signs of this month and um using the allura uh, tarot deck which i feel i'm going to start using a little bit more because these cards are talking to me as well uh i've only used them once before but anyway, uh, let me just stop rambling. For some Tauruses that are some bulls, my bulls that I'm reading for, some of you are going to have, you know, from the 16th of July to the end of um, July. Now, of course, you know, this is a time frame. So, you know, basically it's the potential of things that could occur, that could occur during this time frame, could be occurring right now. But, you know, time frames, I don't really stick to time frames because the energy could be, you know, something that happens or occurring right now or it could be extended beyond the time frame that I've given you, the end of July. So this is why I'm, I'm very cautious about, um, you know, time frames. But I am giving you enough to um, work with, at least anyway. Stellar, stellar energy here, Taurus. I mean... <laughs> You're like the second uh, best reading I think that I've done so far for this this time period. Okay, so you know I might skip around and go out of order because I'm being drawn to um, another card in a link, but I don't feel <laughs> that I need to. As a matter of fact, this might be the shortest, quickest damn reading that I do because everything here is it's it's just powerful. What you have for the you know beginning the 16th to the end of the month is the star card hopes wishes and dreams being fulfilled manifested um could be you know um dream aspirations or something that you know you hold dear to your heart and then something that you've always wanted it you know could come true and manifest for you during this period of time star card is a card of social um uh, activity for me so it could be an increase during this time period and socializing with others it also could be that you're just communicating well the communication is uh, if you are externally uh communicating with others that's that's a positive sign but it also too could be uh an increase of uh, communications through social media star card always represents those things for me um internet networking um Online dating, you know, Facebook, Instagram, increase, but it's positive. Okay, it's going to be positive. If when it comes to romance, it could be a new uh, link to a, a romantic partnership. Now, whether or not it's you know there are air signs or Aquarius in particular, it doesn't really matter. I do feel that the Ace of Pentacles, which is representing your energy, represents the start of something new. This could be a job promotion. And again, someone could be uh, after, you know, looking online, uh, applying for jobs, filling out, you know, um, required resumes and updating profiles and, and resumes and stuff for work. Then that job finally comes in because this is the Ace of Pentacles where there is someone offering you something and it may be just based on uh, the things that you may have been doing. Now, you could be you know, currently working and maybe you were looking for another job. All right. So they're just saying that a job is coming through because it was based on what you were doing or could have been doing because you were doing some sort of search on uh, the Internet looking for work or looking for uh, another job. Could be a romantic partnership, could be almost anything. The ace is the start of something new. Also could be uh, it's, you know, um, your energy, so it's a card of generosity, so it could be offerings, you know, someone offering you something, just look at it that way. Eight of Wands is about news and surprises, so maybe you do hear about that job, something comes in. Eight of Wands is um, 
Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. But normally it, the Eight of Wands, as I see the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, uh, is always something that could be positive and, and very uh, quickly coming towards you. This also could relate to, uh, again, following the Star card. Maybe there was some sort of you know, online orders that you've had and uh, you're waiting for it. But during this period of time, it's going to come come to you. OK, so this represents mail and parcel packages and stuff. All right. Now, under <laughs> underneath the eight of wands. So maybe there's a relationship that starts up very quickly because you have the lovers now. This is why I said you have a stellar Stellar energy here. So hopefully it comes towards you. Uh, Major Arcana, the lovers here. All right. And this uh, is not just a reading that is exclusive for romance. This is an open general reading. And I'm trying to touch base in all areas and aspects of your life. That lover's card could also represent a business partnership. Could also uh, forming a you know a business partnership with another person. Could also be um, something going on in the family. And basically... If it's related to family, then, you know, it's harmonic. You know, things are uh, going uh, the way that you want. No complications. Everyone's on the same page, seeing eye to eye. It's up above the Two of Cups energy. When I read and receive the Two of Cups, and it's like, you know, there's a balance there between two people. Uh, it's just an exchange or even exchange of energy with another person. Okay. And whatever... Um, aspect that it affects you all right but then there's something that could go on that could be a friendship as well uh, so something uh, that's going to start up very quickly either in a friendship or in a, a business partnership romantic uh, partnership could be something going on within the family structure that happens very rapidly but the energy is very positive then you have not only the Ace of Pentacles, what follows that Eight of Wands is the Ace of Swords. So this is victory and success. And then also, too, a lot of determination. OK, that sword is used to cut away any uncertainty to gain clarity on any issues that you may have. OK, so there's victory and success to be achieved. But it doesn't matter. Um you know what the situation could be it's victory and success underneath that is the king of cups that could be the relationship uh and determining uh, well the deter excuse me the determination <laughs> and moving forward in some sort of direction and talk about moving forward i am skipping around here quite a bit because there's so many juicy good cards here in this damn spread for you uh taurus the king of one uh king of swords could also we're having a very severe <laughs> thunderstorm and i was hope we don't lose power so let me finish up and stop babbling um king of cups king of swords follow each other now they both follow the lover's card so that could be the formation of all of those things that i said now even though the king and the queens represent older feels it could almost be any age um you know whatever but i do feel that there's a relationship uh, but there could be also something going on with grandmother, grandfather, father and mother during this time frame. OK, and there's some, some sort of unity here associated with the lover's card. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, let me go back up here because I was jumping around here and then I <laughs> thought that we were going to lose power because uh, we are having a very severe thunderstorm. OK, Seven of Cups is about options. The only slight warning to the Seven of Cups, Taurus, is related to, uh, since you have many options to pick and choose from, make sure that you're picking something from those cups, one of those cups, that's going to uh, resonate for you uh, in the long term. Because if you don't, then it's the warning is it might come back to uh, bite you in your ass, okay? So, but it's just Seven of Cups, many options available. That could be romance. Cups represent water. Uh, Taurus, I'm no, water, and I'm saying Taurus, water, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, when it comes to romant romantic linkages, okay? But it doesn't necessarily have to be. Then the moon comes in. So there's a cycle of change, and then a, a one phase goes out, and then a new cycle uh, comes in. 
and this is appropriate because it uh, mirrors the ace of swords as there's uh, aces are always a fresh start new beginning in some area or new direction so this is a cycle change um, hopefully for the better also to the uh, moon could um, is part of the energy of secrets being revealed representing uh, you know Pisces again water sign energies cancer Scorpio Pisces male or female Pay attention. I don't know if this this moon sh has shown up here, and you know because um, there's so much talk that's been going on with these partial eclipses and lunar eclipses. So I don't know if this moon is showing up here, and it will be part of the uh, time frame. So that could be just all that it, you know all that it is, <laughs> and uh, there might be some sort of changes that take place, or you're impacted by um, the moon's influence, or something happens. I don't know. But whatever it does, I want you to maintain your positive attitude because I don't foresee something bad happening. Um, but they say these eclipses are usually powerful and usually shakes things up. So I hope it's not too bad for uh, you guys or me. <laughs> uh, so we'll see what happens. But sometimes, you know, those things happen to, you know, occur for the better. So maybe this is the moon saying uh, one phase or one cycle is about to end and then we're going to open up a new phase or a new cycle for you. So that's why I say stay positive. Don't think negative. Already talked about the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is generosity, someone offering you something. Also, because I'm reading for you, Taurus, you could be offering them. This could be because it's facing the lovers. You could be offering, you know, yourself and your generosity to other people. This could be lovers. This could be family, friends. And this could be you helping someone out in all of those um, areas that I just mentioned. King of Cups, of course, is a family card. It's a loving card, full of love. Intuition comes into play. Pay attention to your intuition during this period of time. But whatever it is, there's the Ace of Swords that's over top of this king. And there's some sort of victory and success that's going to be achieved in some endeavor uh, that Taurus got going on. It's a fast approach. Uh, and I feel that it might have uh, a link to the Seven of Cups energy. Uh, but there's the King of Swords that follows that King of Cups. Taking charge, moving fast towards something or something coming towards you. Uh, but it's positive. All right. That might be the job. That might be the promotion. That might be the relationship. Uh, whatever it is that relates to you. Because the Knight of Pentacles, which is your energy, finishes off the reading I had also picked up in the, um, the when this card showed up for another sign I don't recall that this could be the knight of pentacles underneath the moon as I mentioned cycle of change one cycle ends another cycle uh, opens up this could indicate somebody's retirement the watch I'm thinking that someone could be retiring or leaving a job Okay, but it's all good, though, you know, and I think that the watch for me is like years of service. You know, sometimes people get uh, watches, <coughs> you know, for 25 years or more of service. Um, that could be the case. But it also could be the, the promotion. A new job, start of a new job. This is the Knight of Pentacles. The knight in shining armor. So the generosity is still being extended, either um, coming towards you, Taurus, or being extended out from you to others. But I do feel it's coming. Most of this energy is coming your way. Hopefully it's coming your way. So, but yeah, this is a extraordinary uh, reading that I've done for you. And I hope that the energy opens up and bodes well with you as, you know, the time um the start of the time some of this energy might be going on right now so always welcome the comments um you know i don't spend a lot of time you know uh you know replying to comments and stuff it's just too many comments to come in and then you know i'm um um not that i'm saying i'm too busy <clears throat> but those comments and then um you know, fielding uh, emails. I get a, a slew of emails and, and I feel bad because I don't get to personally 
uh, respond back to the uh, emails that people send me too. So don't, you know, if you throw in a comment, don't, and I don't respond, don't take it personal. It's not, it's not even about that. Okay. But anyway, enjoy this time, Taurus, and hopefully this energy opens up for you. Oh, so I want to wish you all a very safe period here, always emphasizing safety and also sending you quite a bit of love and light your way. Taurus, until I talk to you again, please be well. Bye.